being in here as a full Turkish roster, as a Turkish team, is already a success in itself. And now qualifying for playoffs is like the cherry on top. Uh, we managed to show that Turkish Valorant can exceed levels and uh, play on a higher level. But it doesn't stop here. I think the real victory will come when the Turkish team ad again attends champions the next year. Thank you. Next question also goes to Mr. Fallen from a Valorant competitive community member. Despite playing Initiator and Sentinel this series, you managed to put down some crazy numbers. What do you think was the main reason you were able to get so many kills? Was it adapting to T1 playstyle, anti striding or just playing off instinct? Yani öyle spesifik nedenle vurmadım. Ee, Kıvaks'ın 45 tane asisti, 40 tane asisti var. Hani illaki birinin asisti oluyor ki ben vuruyorum. Bu tamamen pozisyon. Başka hiçbir şey değil yani. Bir sekundinden yok. Well, there wasn't a specific reason that I that I had that many kills. Cracks, for example, had like 40, 45 assists. Some people have to have a lot of assists so that other people can have a high number of kills. So it's nothing specific. It's, it's just that I had the better position at that specific time. Thank you. Next question goes to um, Atta Captain uh, from Zen Estrafe Esports. Congratulations on qualifying for playoffs. As a reflection of your group stage run, what did you think of your performance throughout, and what can we expect from you guys in playoffs? Uh, playoffslara kaldığınız için tebrikler öncelikle. Uh, grup aşamanızda düşünüldüğü zaman, grup aşamasındaki performansınızda düşünüldüğü zaman, uh, neler hissediyorsun ve turnuvada turnuvanın ilerleyen aşamalarında nasıl bir performans göstereceğinizi düşünüyorsun? Yani e, şu zamana kadar zaten ilerlediğimiz seviye bizim için çok iyi bir seviye. E, beklediğimiz performans da zaten top 8 ve üzeriydi. Yani önümüzdeki maçlarda yani diyecek ekstra bir şeyim yok. Kendi oyunumuzu zaten ortaya koyarsak güzel bir oyun sergileriz. Yani inşallah birkaç gün daha alırız. Uh, the level of play we've already displayed is quite good I think. We've come here with the goal of attaining top 8 or better. Uh, so if we fix our mistakes, if we play our own game, I believe we can go even further in the next parts of the tournament. Thank you very much. We'll now switch to online uh, remote media. If you have any questions, please use the Zoom hand raise feature. First question comes from Jordan at VLRGG. Well, this question is for guys. Uh, your team takes more eco rounds than any other at this event, primarily because you haven't bought into the half armor meta that Fnatic popularized. Do you think that this strategy will continue to work against the best teams in the playoffs? Uh, could you repeat the first part of the question regarding yeah. Fnatic? That's really. Or, or okay, yeah. he's got it. Yeah. Yani extra çalışmamız olmuyor aslında sıkımlarda. Sadece random herhangi birisinden bir taktik geldiğinde ve o işlediğinde ona hafıza yapıp bir sonraki turnuvada onu sergilemeye çalışıyoruz. Yani örnek veriyorum büyük ihtimalle Bindtech'i dolanın Crux'ın flash'ından yola çıkarak geldi bu soru. Ee, diğer haritalarda da var. Pearl'de Art'a girdiğimiz var. Diğer haritalarda da var böyle birkaç şey. Ama tamamen Scrum'lerde herhangi herhangi birinden bir fikir geldiğinde onu ortaya koyduğumuzda oluyor veya olmuyor tartışarak ondan sonra böyle bir yola gidiyoruz. Aslında çok ekstra da bir durumumuz yok. Uh, there isn't anything that extra to be completely honest. Um, but when somebody Put, put say a certain tactic forward. Uh, we tried it and if it works, we tried it in the next matches again. Uh, for example, I believe this question was asked due to uh, Crax's flash on bind. Uh, we have certain specific tactics as well, such as going, into, going towards art on Pearl. Uh, but yeah, usually somebody would put an idea forward uh, and if it works, we usually try to uh, try the same things in upcoming tournaments as well. Thank you. Next question from Jin. Uh, hello. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Fallen. Congratulations on making into the playoff at the first Turkish team. Uh, how do you rate the T1 performance today? Different from the opening market. And which team do you want to face in the playoff? Thank you so much. T1'un performance hakkında, evet. Tamam, sende. Yani hani ilk karşılaştığımızdan beri yani ekstra bir şey yok aslında. Ev evimden önce söylediği gibi hani yani adamlar aslında hala aynı oynadılar. Sadece biz elimizde birkaç tane round verdik. Yani normal nasıl bekleyesek öyle oynadılar. Hiçbir ekstra alıp yoktu. E, Pilof'a gelince de hani evvel ilk maçtan iyice gelme sistemi ama aynı grupta zaten iyice gelmeyecek. 
Herhalde ilk maçtan bir diyerek isterim. Master'ın şey olması için. T1 didn't do anything extra between the two matches. Uh, I mean, whatever they did the first match, they did the second match as well. And just like my coach guy said, uh, we gave them the opportunities to uh, gain more rounds than before, earn more rounds than before. So there wasn't anything that different tactically. Uh, in terms of the rest of the tournaments, although I would like to face CG, I don't think we will be facing against them since we were in the same group, but I would like to face against DRX. Thank you very much. Uh, that was the last question of the press conference. Thank you for joining us.